service music stores and not a lot of guitars were sold in those days. Because I was starting something that was different, uh, I think I was able to help people who were discovering this kind of new music. Uh, it was really was only the second or third store of its kind in the country. And word of mouth got around, so that when people would travel from uh, either coast, um, this was a, a little bit of an oasis, kind of a, a Wells Fargo stop, so to speak. And so a lot of folks came through, and even when uh, Bob Dylan made his first cross-country tour in 1964, um, his manager sent his mail to the store. <laughs> so we were the, sort of the American Express <laughs> uh, repository of, uh, of the mail service, and so I had to deliver mail to uh, the uh, Vista, I think it was the Vista Motel on West Colfax, because they, they were playing at uh, the Denver Auditorium Theater, which is now Ellie Calkins. I had a chance to uh, interact with Bob Dylan at that time. And the other funny thing that happened during that weekend, they, on the way in they saw that uh, Bill Haley and the Comets were playing at uh, La Pichet on West Mississippi and asked if I would take them. There were four of them, four of these guys, very New York looking guys in trench coats and stuff. Would I take them to La Pichet in West Mississippi 3-2 bar? Uh, uh, and so I did. And Dylan went back to introduce himself to uh, Bill Haley, who I'm sure had absolutely no idea in 1964 who Bob Dylan was. You know. But it was a, a, a pretty hilarious scene. Had a chance to bring um, Joan Baez to Denver for the first time and ended up bringing her here um, three or four, almost five times, um, both to the Auditorium Theater and to Red Rocks. And that started a, a bit of a time when I, I did do, did promote concerts. Um, I think that mostly through the years, uh, we've tried to be community oriented, we tried to be helpful to people, and uh, I give credit to the people of Denver more than to me. We support uh, organizations, clubs, uh, you know, nonprofits, folks who are, are, getting, are getting started. Uh, and um, uh, we very often we donate instruments or gift certificates. I took pieces of the store and gave it to uh, an organization that the community and I started called Swallow Hill Music Association. It's so an absolutely wonderful organization that brings music of all kinds uh, to people around the city. One of the major folk music uh, organizations in the country, for which I'm quite pleased and, and proud, I guess you'd say, uh, and recommend them particularly for group and private lessons. I think that one of the unusual things about uh, acoustic instruments is that they are a direct uh, support between two people. As opposed to a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, reed and brass instruments, the basic form of communication between people comes from the mouth. And so that almost immediately eliminates uh, brass and reed because you can't, you know, you can't talk and sing while you're playing that instrument, but you can when you're playing uh, a guitar. It's well documented that singing is an amazing, amazing tool of, of community, of, of connection, and I think interaction between people is something that will never go, hopefully, will never go away. So we have lots of books. And, and lots of CDs um, that give you some background into what this music is all about, and we really like that. One of the things that, that is different, I think, about the Folklore Center from other acoustic shops is that having started in 1962, we've acquired a, a, a sizable amount of knowledge about acoustic instruments, and our teachers offer um, a wide variety of, of acoustic lessons. Uh, guitar, banjo, mandolin, violin, and hammered dulcimer, who are uh, excited about teaching folks of all ages and all uh, abilities, starting from zero all the way up to professional level. 
and our teachers, uh, some of our teachers perform professionally as well. strumming you can uh, throw in a little so you'll do the bass the bass note the G up. and then you'll your second strum yep. So on, any, on a given day, if you come in to the shop, um, you'll very likely hear people who are trying out instruments. Uh, and we encourage folks to do that. And sometimes um, folks who don't know one another will sit down and jam. So we had lots of music going on. Folklore is the exploration of the music and the customs of people. American roots.